French what song you're coming out to. Uh, oh, it's coming a hip hop song. I like hip hop, you know. So I always, I never take the, I never take the, the same song two times. It's a bad luck uh, thing for me. And who is the artist? Uh, Fab Fababy. It's something funny. Is everybody asking me about the song? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I, I like the the song. Yeah, it's cool. We were actually wondering if you could just give us every answer that you just said in French and English again. Okay. Uh, it's my... <laughs> <laughs> no, said you're actually, gonna... there's one one thing that you mentioned there about Ronda Rousey and the females. Yeah. My, my French may be off, yeah. but you were saying that it's a little bit uncomfortable for you to watch? No, no, no. I said uh, for the, the woman fight, I say it's good for, for her. You know, I'm happy for the, the girl that, that fight. But me personally, I have a hard time watching the girl fight. Is my my heart? I have, you know, it's the way I grew up. Maybe it's mentality. Uh, I'm different. I'm old school. But I have a hard time watching girl fighting. It's it's hard for me. Uh, I never really watch a, a woman fight. But I know they they are women are pretty good. I know Randall Rousey is very good. But for me, it's hard uh, watching the girl uh, fighting. Uh, even though it's a full contact sport, uh, it's uh, but it's it's all good for you know. It's good for the woman. They can make their career. You know. You George. mentioned all week, George, about your focus being Carl's conduct. Does it bother you the fact that Anderson is coming on Saturday and is kind of taking a lot of that focus? It's kind of putting it in everyone's head. You know, he, he, he don't take nothing of my focus. I don't care about him. He can do whatever he wants. Even if Arnaud Schwarzenegger will be coming, and uh, I'll be focused on one thing, is Carlos Condit. Do you think that's disrespecting Condit a lot, though, that the Anderson fight looks to be coming up? Yeah, but they want to see the super fight. But uh, right now, as uh, they need to, I I didn't even came back yet. They they just asked me that, you know. So it's always uh, they ask me for the next fight. It's okay. It's gonna be like that for for a long time probably. So uh, I'm used to it. George, George you said that uh, you you feel reinvigorated. That training is fun again uh, because you've changed some things. Mm -hmm. Do you feel different on the eve of the fight then uh, than you did for previous fights, or is it still the yeah. same? Yeah, I'm having more fun. I'm more mentally. I'm more positive. I'm not burned out. I I, I, I want to enjoy every second of it. I don't want to say, oh, I, I can't wait to be done with this. Yeah, I like it. It's not only the interview is my worst part, you know, but uh, tell you the truth. But you know, it's the the way in. It's the, it's kind of suffering, you know. But it's it's a process that I I need to appreciate because I, I won't do that for the rest of my life and uh, I, I want to enjoy every second of it. What will you do after the weigh-in, for example? Eat, I would imagine. Absolutely. But, uh, Eat and drink. Will you relax? Did you have anything planned? Well, I I, um, I don't know uh, right now. Uh, I'm going to eat, drink. Uh, I cannot go nowhere right now as the hotel is pretty crazy. It's a lot of fun. So <laughs> that's what is a little bit bad for me. I cannot really do something because I'm going to get stopped everywhere. And at this time, I try to isolate myself, to not get sick, not catch any cold or stuff like that. Stay very focused on the main goal. I might go eat, uh, you know, some, some like something like an ice cream or, I don't know, we'll see. But you're not staying at home then? No, no, I'm staying in the hotel. Because I want to, I don't, every time I find Montreal, I want to feel like a, it's another fight, like normal. George, can you talk a little bit about the fact that Greg Jackson is not part of either of your camps and, and how that changed your uh, game plan and your training for this fight? It don't change anything. It's, it's a neutral situation. He's not in my camp. He's not in Condit camp. So we both get uh, equal on that. Did you miss him? Yeah, I miss Greg, but I talk to him. And, you know, it's not like I, I, I'm not with him. I can call him right now and say, hey, are you Greg? That you're just not going to help me and give me insight for the fight. That's it. The bookmakers have made you a three to one favorite. What do you think of that, George? I'm three to one favorite. I think so. Oh yeah, that's good. I thought I was an underdog. I, I knew it. I yeah. knew it. No, no, I'm kidding. But I don't care about that. I focus on myself. That's all matter to me. I'm I'm very focused. Yeah. I I'm not I'm not. I, I'm not burned out. I, I used to be overtrained for. I, st I trained since I'm nine years old, you know? Since I do. When was the last uh, when was the last fight that you felt, you know, like this going into it? You know, this, this I never really felt like this, to tell you the truth. Before I used to feel a little bit like this, but I was very crazy nervous. I'm very nervous, don't get me wrong. But it's all about acting, it's about confidence, and it's, it's called, they call it James Lange theory, you know? You're, mind can dictate your body you know if you're scared you know if you drink want to drink you're thirsty your body tell your mind oh i want to i want water so your your body tell your mind to grab the water and drink but the other way around the the reverse it's possible too james lance theory so that's mean i'm scared i'm nervous i'm oh my god i can't wait but i act like it's it's uh it's all good and i'm all good and my body will dictate my mind how to think you can read about that it's a very interesting subject by the way everyone thank you 
it's a good trick. Every athlete do it. Every athlete, they, everybody do it. Like uh, Michael Jordan, act before he, before he became successful, he was acting like a champion. Everybody, Tiger Woods, everyone does the same thing. You know, it's all it's all in the mind. I, at this point, it's like when I play golf. I already, I already hit the ball. The ball is in the air. There, the public training, I couldn't do a public training. It's completely useless. Even though I do a hundred push push up now, I'm not gonna get stronger. So it's all in the mind. You know, my training is done. There is nothing I can do to be stronger, sharper, better than I am. The only thing I can change is my mind. So I still try to stay positive and uh, enjoy every second of it. You know, even though even though there is a lot of stress, that's what I can do. It's when when I get when I'll be old, I remember all those uh, souvenirs and I'll be wow. I remember that day. So. I start to be positive and enjoy every second of it. How have the two, two uh, how have the two Muay Thai fighters that you brought over helped uh, this specific camp? And is Lam ever going to make the transition to MMA? Because after episode no. two, a lot of people they, 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 their, their culture are very in Muay Thai. They, they, they don't know any ground and anything, but they, they're amazing in Muay Thai, like far beyond any anyone I've seen in, in America in terms of fighting. You know, their kick, their timing is just another level, and. Uh, yeah, it's, for me it was fun. The scam, I brought different people. I'm having fun, you know. Like they, they, this whole Saturday night, I'm gonna have fun. That's why I do that. I'm having fun. When you stop having fun, you're not, you you become kind of bored, and that's what happened to me. Now I'm having fun again. I want to enjoy every every second of it. You said that you faced question, some really good. You faced some good strikers in the past, Tiago Alves, Dan Hardy. But do you think Carlos Condit is the most dangerous striker you've ever faced? He's dangerous at what you do. I try to take him not better than he is and not worse than he is. I try to see him as he is. And, and there is a quote of a famous, uh, ju ju very one of the best judo guy in the world. He says, he says uh, one of the best of all time, he says, uh, the guy, when you fight someone, you realize you ne he's never as strong as you think he was, but he's never as weak as, as you think he was either. And it's true in fighting. You always expect something from someone, but he's never quite exactly like you expect him to be. He's not as strong, he's not as weak, so you have to keep a range. And that's what I try to do. I don't see him too good, and I try to not see him not good. And I try to see him like he is. And uh, I did all my homework. We'll see what's going to happen Saturday.